All right, welcome back. So this time I'm going to have Mistress Therana be my patron. I guess it'd be a matron. But, uh, you know, they use patron as the generic. So why am I killing my own ancestor ghost, you might ask. Well, the reason is simple. Money. I can sell this trap soul that I put in my greater soul gem for 6,000. I wonder if I can put... I should be able to put an ancestral ghost into a, a grand soul gem. I, I know that would be a waste of a grand soul gem, but it's not... It's not like I can't just buy some more. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh, 20,000. That's also pretty good. Only problem is, uh, how am I going to sell that? Uh, we'll figure it out. I didn't even use my amulet of recall. An adventurer, I presume. Wait, what are you doing in here? Tidings and good wishes to you, friend. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go to. Please. By all means, I'm listening. I'll sell to the creeper. It won't. That won't help my mercantile, but at I least, can't... at least it will. Uh... It still get me money. That's what I need right now. I still need to work on my attributes. What do you ask of me? And also my security skill. There are many creatures beyond the cities. And once I get Citizen. good enough security skill, then I can get a really, really nice item. So I just need one thousand. Five hundred, five thousand, or five hundred. Um and there you go. After I sell these, I'll be 6,000 gold richer. Can I haggle with him? I seem to remember in, in the uh, classic game you could actually do a bit of haggling. Even if it's with the creeper, but I guess in this you can't haggle with the creeper at all. So that behavior is a little bit different from classic. I have some alchemical stuff I could sell. Not for very much though. I do want to just get it out of my inventory. So I have 12,000 gold, and once I have 20,000 gold, then I can buy enough to... Well, actually, I need 15,000 because he has 5,000. So then I can do the item shuffle and uh, gain another 20,000. If you have Conjuration and the ability to Soul Trap, then you can have a really, really easy way. Really, really easy uh, source of income. Unless you have that uh, Morrowind code patch uh, feature that makes um, soul gems less expensive. Well, what have we here? How may I help you, all trust? But uh, this will make things more expedient for me. What am I doing? Uh, I want endurance. So, endurance. Heavy armor, that's really high. It's interesting how security, security's governing attribute is intelligence, but agility is what factors into your security chances. Mercantile. 
So I want endurance, agility, and I guess willpower as well. Medium armor, that's endurance. Armor is 33, medium armor is 36. My, my armor, which is a major skill, is lower than my medium armor, which I'm never going to use. I don't know who teaches really good armor, though. Because that guy over there at the Fighter's Guild, he can't teach anymore. Although I, I, I shouldn't train that, because that'll level me up. So what am I left with? Spears at 41. Alright, I guess we'll just have to train medium armor. I don't know if this lady over next door will be able to train me that much more, though. I don't know if she has 10 skill increases left in her. We'll see. How One, fairly, friend. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. No! I need two more skill increases. Can I get two more spears? You're a lifesaver. Okay, so endurance. Agility. Block will teach me agility. I also want willpower. I don't know what these other two increases were. See, it makes it difficult to control my level ups. That'd be a nice feature to add, you know, if you can see like how many times each um, each uh, da, 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 attribute was leveled up. I didn't phrase that well. I'm not quite I sure how to phrase can. that well though. Don't mind me. I just I just can't speak English. Uh, <laughs> You know what, forget it. Uh, we're just going to do my agility. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we're going to hop over to the South Wall Corner Club. Once I'm over there, I'm going to... Beneath... <clears throat> Beneath Red Mountain, Lord Dagoth sleeps. But when he wakes, we all shall rise, and the dust will blow away. Serve your lord, Dagoth Ur. The sixth house is risen, and Dagoth is its glory. My, my dark elf sounds kind of drunk today. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Welcome, friend. Hail. I don't think he teaches. Hello. I don't know if I can help what you, but, uh, okay. I'll try. Somebody down here. Oh, it's her. Chirinir. What Kajit do for you? Kajit can teach me to break into things and steal, just like the Kajit do. I guess I'm going to be doing uh, intelligence instead of willpower. That's okay. Because I, I need the security skill. Definitely need it. What if I can 
Hello. I don't know if I can help you, but uh, I'll try. Uh, I can't sneak into a bed because he's guarding you the door. That's fine. We have a bed over here. In your dreams, a tall figure in a golden mask spoke to you. Lord Nerevar Indoril, High Resdania, long forgotten, forged anew. Three belied you, three betrayed you. One you betrayed was three times true. Lord Vorin Dagoth, Dagoth Ur, steadfast liegeman, faithful friend, bids you come and climb Red Mountain. Beneath Red Mountain once again, break your bonds, shed cursed skin. And purge the noir from Morrowind. With pleasure. Please go ahead. It's my, my Dagothur impression. Sounded kind of like Xavier, Renegade Angel. <laughs> okay. Um, so I still have gold left. I need more security. But I don't want more intelligence. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. It can wait. The willpower can wait. The security cannot wait. So, Nine Toes is a blaze trainer. What does he train? Train security. Welcome, Finder Name Lord. Nine Toes is my name. Hunter is my trade. I'd be happy to share a little advice or blah 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 blah. Illusion. Sneak. Hmm. Sneak is good. Uh, that would raise my agility. That would factor into my lockpick chances, so I'll just go ahead and do that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I still want to increase my endurance. Uh, but I have to go all the way back here. Hey, how may I help you, Boys, this is probably not very fun to watch. My apologies. Do you have something to say, Outland? Uh, there is a lot of training in this game. Should you need something, I will be happy to oblige. They made it so you couldn't really do this in the in the newer games. Oh no, he can teach more armor. Huh. Alright, we'll we'll try blunt weapon and armor. One two three. I like what I see. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you like hearing that noise over and over again? I have heard this noise probably hundreds of thousands of times in my lifetime. was kind of a waste of a level up, but whatever. I, I really should have trained my endurance a little bit. Oh, we can still do that. Spear. 
I'm getting really poor. Uh, man. With pleasure. Please go ahead. I'm all That's in. fine. So I have over a hundred health now. And I can do a bit more damage. I still haven't sold the sixth house amulet. I should go ahead and do that. To what do I owe this pleasure? And I still need more security. So we'll do that too. Ravier knows why you are here. You want to buy Ravier's famous Daedric weapons. What? You say these are not Daedric weapons? No, you are right. But Ravier is no liar. When you wish it, Ravier's fiend, demon, and devil weapons will be just as sharp and fine as Daedric and light as Netch Airsack. As a Netch Airsack. The magic lasts a short time, but long enough to punch through the toughest armor. Ravier buys them direct from the Telvanni. You'll not find cheaper in all Balmora. And take this. Oh, you are poor. Never mind. May you walk on the warm sands. Here, take this then. And this. And these. Okay, don't don't take these. Uh, I'm gonna keep one of these too. Um, I like numbers that end in five. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, I think I just punched my microphone on accident. Uh, what do, what do? Right. More security. I'd like to be able yes, to open a 100 level lock. It'd be really nice. Because as soon as I can do that, then I can have a really, really good weapon. Welcome, Alder. From where do you live? You wish to speak. Uh, okay, take me security. This is greetings. Going to be another waste of a level up. The Altmer. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. No, I didn't mean to do that. All right, that's fine. How may I help you, Altmer? Okay. So, I continue to improve. All right, let's go actually do something. Go to Telbrunora now. Don't, don't have that bound. I guess not. Let's see, I'm buying that to eight. Funny that I have this really amazingly good Kyrus, and yet all the rest of my armor is like steel. It's hard to find good he uh, heavy armor in this game, though, which is a good thing. So it makes it a real, gives you a real good sense of accomplishment once you actually find it.
kind of didn't like how in Skyrim, you know, you, you could just grind your armor skill or your, your smithing skill and then bam, you can create Daedric armor. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. It really just, for me, it just cheapens Daedric armor by a lot when you do that. Yeah, for me, a lot of what made Morrowind special is like when you find some like really rare, obscure thing somewhere, and you just like stumble across it. Greetings, Outlander. I think I've heard of you before. That was always just an amazing feeling to me. May you find all so, that you see the travel. Like nowadays I don't care as much because I'm a cynical old man. I shouldn't call myself old, I'm not even in my thirties yet. <laughs> um But you know I kinda miss that feeling. How wonderful. Welcome, Outland. Where, where finding a rare thing in these games feels really special. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> but I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. But but. I want you to be my matron. Damn it. Okay. Time to go back to Sedrith Mora. No, not not Dratha. Arana. She's my patron. Blah blah blah. Unwise choice for a patron. She's concerned about a slave. I don't care. I wanna I wanna be under her tutelage. I guess I have to be. What do you want? I guess I have to have Master Aryan be my patron. I don't exactly know where his tower is, what? though. Right. Tell Voss, no, of course, I've been there before. You seek May you find all that you seek, traveler. Please join me. I believe we can arrange a situation to our mutual benefit. I will become your patron and ally in House Telvani. If you convince another potential ally, Baladas Demnevani, to abandon his to abandon his reclusive ways and join the council. <clears throat> yes, speak with Baladas Demnevani and convince him to join the council. With his support, we can wrest control from the old, cautious, and unimaginative like Gothrin and Neloth. Ne well, Neloth. Sorry, I was having a stroke. Once you have convinced him, speak with me again, and I will sponsor you in House Telvani. Something about speaking in that voice makes me slur my words. It's really weird. Oh, I should probably ask him where the lattice is. Aris Jelen, northwest of Nissus, yeah. Just as I thought. So, Nissus. 
to get there. And the Silt Strider from Aldrin. So he's in a Velothi Tower. May I help you? I just love how there are so many distinct types of building in this game. You, know, you get your Redoran buildings, or okay, Redoran. You got your Telvani mushrooms, you got your Hlalu uh, houses. All the, all the different types of architecture are just so distinct, and they, they pop right out at you. Like, you, you just take one look at a town, you, you can already tell who's in power. Like, this is this is a temple here. It's temple architecture, but it's a Redoran town. But, you know, you can see the, the Redoran obey the temple. And you've also got this Velothi Tower, which is a, a temple structure. I was in here a few episodes ago, but I didn't really record it because it was really awful. Is this really happening right now? I mean, come on. The Wolf Queen, Book 5 by Wachin Jarth. And it's about Potema. thing. Well, you just kind of keep walking. It's a good thing I was training my security. Daedroth is hostile. Okay, he's friendly. So this guy just spends all his time alone here. Doesn't even bother getting rid of the rats. Sithis. Sithis is the start of the house. Before him was nothing. But the foolish Altmer have names for and revere this nothing. That is because they are lazy slaves. Indeed, from the sermons, stasis asks merely for itself, which is nothing. Hey, your, your book talks shit about my race. So good to see you. Dragon break re-examined. Late Third Era was a period of remarkable religious ferment and creativity. The upheavals of the reign of Uriel VII were only outward signs of historical forces that would eventually lead the, to the fall of the Septim Dynasty. The so-called Dragon Break was the first proposed was first proposed at this time by a wide variety of cults from the fringe sects around the Empire, connected only by a common obsession with the events surrounding Tiber Septim's rise to power, the founding myth, if you will, of the Septim Dynasty. The basis of this Dragon Break doctrine is now known to be a rather prosaic error in the timeline printed in the otherwise authoritative Encyclopedia Tamrielica, first published in 3E12. Oh boy, this is, this is some heavy lore here. Dragon Break was invented in the late third era based on scholarly error fueled by obsession with eschatology and Numidianism. That's what you all practice when you watch my videos, Numidianism. And perpetuated by scholarly inertia. And the 
It's got a lot of skill books here. It's got his little pet centurion. I wonder if he built it himself. This would all be really nice stuff if I cared about alchemy. So good to see. You. Okay, friend. Speaking, hurry up. Speaking, hurry up. I don't want to do chores for you. Uh, I want to know first about... You may ask your three questions. You want to know first about the disappearance of the dwarves. It was unfashionable among the dwarves to view their spirits as synthetic constructs. Three, four, or forty creational gradients below the divine. During the dawn era, they researched the death of the earth bones what we now call the laws of nature, dissecting the process of sacred willing itself into the profane. I believe that mechanists and tonal architects discovered systemic regression techniques to perform the reverse, that is, to create the sacred from the deaths of the profane. I have no idea what he's talking about. As the Duma left no corpses and no traces of conflict behind, I believe the generations of ritualistic Anti-creations resulted in their immediate but foreseen removal from the Mundus. They, re they retreated behind math, behind color, behind the active principle itself. That the Dwemer vanished long, uh, vanished during a conflict with Nerva, and the tribunal was merely a coincidence. You said something about Dwemer artifacts. In the denial of both phenomena and not noumena, the Dwemer found comfort in the creation of animunculi, which in their operation combined two incompatible principles, thus denying both. In the first Dwemer ruin I studied, quite by chance in my wandering youth, someone had activated the animunculi guardians, and I was unable to make a proper study of them. Since then, I have on occasion found ruins, especially here in Vanfo, where the animunculi still live. You may ask your three questions. Did you not say your last question was about the Dwemer language? I do not know the Dwemer language. Alright, simple enough. Oh, by the way, I want you to join the council. I have little interest in the affairs of House Telvani, but it would not be an inconvenience to me. I will agree to join the council, on the condition that you do three chores for me. Alright. I have three simple chores for you. Bring me copies of Dwemer books in Junax, Fire and Faith, Antecedents of Dwemer Law, and Chronicles of Nchuleft. I know the Hall of Wisdom in Fevec has a copy of this book, but the library is well guarded. Rare booksellers may have a copy. There are certainly a few copies in the hand of private collectors such as myself. No, I haven't found it yet. <laughs> no, I haven't found it yet. Or, or have I found it? I don't know. I know Jobasha has Chronicles of the True Life. At least I think he does. So we'll go back to Vivek. Please, by all means, I'm listening. Okay, so Jabasha, he's just downstairs. Boy, I wonder how long this playthrough is going to be, since I'm taking so many detours. Oh, he's in the lower waste works. Outlander, 
What do you Can you want? ask your question quickly? I could kill that guard. Those boots are ruined. The Basha is over here. Okay. Welcome, traveler. Speak freely. There's our good friend Julia. Okay. Chronic antecedents of Dumerla. Jobasha knows this book well. Do you wish to buy? Perhaps Jobasha has a copy. Chronicles of Intellect. Okay, so he's got those two. What do you want? Let's make sure. Let's see if he has uh, in Chunax Fire and Faith. Nope. Alright, so antecedents of Dumber Law. And Chronicles of the True Left. Let's see what else he has. If he has Vampires of Ardenfell Volume 2. Yes, he does. Very good. I'm gonna need a place to store my books at some point. I'm my own grandpa. Why is that book so heavy? Is it because the subject matter is heavy, so it makes it physically heavier? Okay, I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa by Galadol, the funniest wood elf ever. Why did the dark elf cross the road? How many... or... okay. How many orcs does it take to light a torch? Depends. Is an orc doing the counting? What is green in hops and sizzles in lava? An orc acrobat. If a wood elf mime falls in a forest, who cares? If you drop a Khajiit head first from a great height, will it land on his feet? Not if you cut off the feet first. Can I get a refund on this? that stuff there. Greetings, good sir. Okay, Nutunex, Fire and Faith. I, I could have sworn I saw that book somewhere else. Wealth beyond measure, Alcanta. Wealth beyond measure. If I'm you're missing. here for trouble, ahead. you'll get more than you bargained for. Okay, who else has books? Well, what have we here? There's a bookseller across the street here. I know I saw that somewhere, I just can't place where it was. Here it is. I'd, I'd like to try to haggle a little bit better though. Can I get it for 50? No? I don't really think so. Please. Please. Now she likes me less. Outlander, what do you want? Now, let's go back to Aldrin. Let's take a look at these books real fast before we give them to Bellatus. Oh, Vampires of Ardenfell. In the West, a shadowy fraternity of vampire hunters is believed to be primarily composed of formerly afflicted vampires who have been cured of the disease. 
According to the legend, the vampire hunters refuse to reveal the cure of the disease for fear that it may encourage depraved thrill seekers to deliberately infect themselves. In the East, the Western tradition of vampire hunters is known is unknown. Vampirism is known to be incurable. Even if it were to be curable, a cured vampire would be an abomination to be destroyed. Since the disease is infallibly cured if treated within three days, failure to treat oneself after an encounter with a vampire would be considered a deliberate attempt to contract the disease, a mark of monstrous depravity. In Temple Doctrine, one ancient tradition holds that, among his many other crimes, Molag Ball, the father of monsters, spawned the first vampire upon the curp cur uh, corpse of a defeated foe. Several different versions of this story exist. The foe variously identified as a danger lord, a temple saint, or a powerful beast creature. This account of the origin of vampirism is peculiar to Morrowind, appearing nowhere else in imperial lore. Unfortunately, scholarly inquiry upon this topic is discouraged by the temple, which controls access to the only substantial collection, the only substantial collection of historical and cultural records of Morrowind. Though the Dunbar believe that the disease is incurable, a boy armager of former years named Geller. Blah, blah, blah. So that this, that's what you need to read if you want to get your vampirism cured. May I help you? The other book talks about the clans, the, the different vampire clans, but it doesn't like tell you exactly where to find them. It just says to look in some old ruins. But, you know, that doesn't help a whole lot. Okay, what's in the Chronicles of Chile? This is a chronicle of events of historical significance to the Dormer Freehold colony of Nchulef. The te text was probably recorded by an Altmer, for it is written in Ald Marius. 23. The death of Lord Illendam. It appeared in the second planting, PD 1220. Lord Illendam, a uh, journey to the western uplands came to Nchulef, protector of Enchard. And General Rakung Funch, <laughs> these names, met him there. And Dale and Zanchu also came to the meeting. They blah 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 blah. Um, what's this? This book is a historical account of the development of drummer law and, and custom from its roots in high elven culture. In short, so far as I am able to trace the development of the order of development and customs of Bosmeri tribes, I believe it to have been in all ways comparable to the growth of Aldmeri law. The earlier liability for slaves and animals was mainly confined to surrender, which, as in Somerset Isles, later became compensation. What does this matter for a study of law, our laws today, so far as concerns of the influence of Aldmeri law upon our own, especially Aldmeri law of master and servant? The evidence of it is to be found in judgment, which has been recorded for the last 500 years, it has been started, stated already that we still repeat the reasoning of the Altmeri magistrates empty as it is to the present day, and I will quickly show how Altmeri custom can be followed into the courts of the Dormer. Did you hear that, Dunmer? Your you, actions you follow our laws. I've heard good things about you. What brings you here, Nainlo? Good. This is one of the three books I was looking for. I will not forget this, Dan Lorne. Ah, yes, this is the last of the three books I was looking for. I know I had another copy of Fire and Faith once. Ah, well. Please accept these trinkets. I no longer have any use for them. Andusi's key. What is that? Amulet of admonition, second barrier belts, sure feet. Sure feet. <laughs> They're shoes that fortify my acrobatics by six, but it fortifies acrobatics by three points twice. That's weird. Of admonition. Oh. 
Paralyze on target. That's not bad. What was on Ducey's key, though? Is that a scroll? No. Where is on Oh, is it a spell? Aha! Or, or no, what what the hell is it? Oh, it's a ring. That's pretty good. Pretty good, I guess. Um, Alright. Okay. An adventurer, I presume. Maybe now I can become I a mouse. Good wishes to you. I'll, I'll admit this is a bit tedious. I still think it's better than um, the Dagger Falls style fast travel that that's used in the next two games. Now, I guess it would be arena style since arena was the first game that had that kind of fast travel. It's funny this game this game innovated on it. And then the next two games, we just kind of regressed. I might not be able to get up there. Three blessings. All right, we're gonna try it. So good. I'm gonna try my best. If not, then. Uh, there's that services place. In the services tower, they probably have some potions. It's a random danger that responds. Well, I say Daedra in air quotes because for whatever reason, uh, Atronax are counted as Daedra. They're really not, what though. Do do for you, I'm going to try to steal this Dumber tube again. Since now I actually have some sneak skill. memory. So this was a little exploit, I guess you could say. It was in the base, or vanilla game. I wonder if it works here. Well, it does, but it, <laughs> it doesn't really help. It's a little yeah. curious little thing that uh, I actually just learned about this today. I, I saw a video by a guy. I think he watches my videos too, if I recall correctly. But uh, yeah, this is another way to steal things that are really far away. It's not working here. 
Oh well. Ours is to ask. What Okay, I need to go further up. Yeah, I can make that jump. I don't need rising force for that. Alright, slow fall. Gotta love slow fall. Using the scroll of a carrion flight with slow fall. We'd be falling for hours. Shit, I probably shouldn't have done that in here. I'm, I'm coming, Aryan. I'm just stuck with this uh, spell effect. Yes, speak with Baladus. <clears throat> then Navani and convince him to join the council. With this support, we can rest control from the... But... What? Is this broken? I convinced him to join the council. I am never too busy for a good talk. Oh, it's busted. Damn it. I might have to use a console command for this. Oh well, screw it. Can I, can I be advanced? But I can't do that. Please join me. Damn it. I don't know if this is a bug with OpenMW or if it's. I'm not sure it was in the original. Either way, I'm a little bit upset. Okay, here's the moment of truth. We're gonna see if Tinder's hop toad can get me up to this shaft. Oh no. No, please. Okay, maybe if I have all of my fatigue. On fall already. Please. There we go. That's all I needed. What was that? It was just me. Don't worry about it. Masera. Right, so I can untrap this. You can always untrap stuff. No. So I know this guy keeps keys around. Here's a key. Ooh, Indurandian Propylon Index. I would like to get all the Propylon Indexes at some point. Alright, I'm gonna look for some more keys, because that's actually kind of fun to do. to snap at me. Alright. Any 
keys over here. I could take this. It's not worth enough to be worth it. scroll of yeah still have two more I don't know if I can open this door I was hoping I could train my security. What is this regarding Altmo? This is part of a quest to rescue her, but uh, I what don't know. Is this about? Uh, I'll do it later. Don't worry, I'll come back. Any keys? No. Corpusarium. I thought I had a torch, I do. There we go. I am Vista Kai, Warden of the Corpusarium. I am here to warn you, do not harm the inmates. If you have come to plunder the dungeon, you must endure their attacks and take your chances with me, their warden and protector. My accent just kind of faded away. <laughs> For his own amusement, Dereth Fur permits thieves to test their skills by attempting to steal the treasures he keeps below in the Corpusarium. These dangers are fearful. The inmates are savage, and they carry the most terrible disease on Tamriel. The treasures themselves are guarded by traps and terrors, and the guards, myself chief among them, will take great delight in trying to kill you. Those are the rules. Abide by them or leave. Do not harm the inmates. I will not tolerate you adding to their suffering. Indeed, they are brutal and ferocious, and they will kill you if they can, but you are their guests, and you may not harm them, or you will answer to me. What do you ask of me? I doubt that Dibay Throw will like it if I hurt them, either. Well, they're pretty slow, so... Why do you keep going the other way? So you can't actually catch Corpus from getting attacked by corpus beasts. You get corpus later on in the game. Not for that chest. Ouch. supposed to go into the Corpusarium until pretty late into the um, main quest. But I'm doing things all out of order. And you can do that in this game. The game doesn't care. If I can get up there. Something I, I wanted to talk about a bit that I forgot about in the previous video is that this game, it's a bit le less of a sandbox than the other games. It's kind of the, the black sheep in that way. A visitor? What brings you to visit Yagrim Bagar, Master Crafter, and last living here? Now, my 
the judge figure a scheme of classifying manifolds for tribes? You not tell me. Or even more right, hang on. complex things. I just wanted to let him finish. Do not harm me, or be very sorry. I warn you. Leave me alone, and I will leave you alone. Hmm. I cannot say what happened. I was not there to observe. I was in the outer realm at the time. And when I came back, my people were gone. I left Red Mountain, wandering Tamriel for years, searching our deserted colonies, looking for a survivor or an explanation. Then, a long, long time ago, I returned to Red Mountain, still looking for answers. Instead, I found corpus disease, and I've been here ever since. I have theories, if you're interested. Lord Kagranak, the foremost arcane philosopher and mindscrafter of my era, devised tools to shape mythopoeic forth, intending to trend... Excuse me. Or even more. And then the limits of German mortality. However, in my reviewing his formulae, some logicians argued that his side effects were unpredictable and errors might be catastrophic. I think Kagranak might have succeeded in gathering our race eternal life, or granting our race eternal life with unforeseen consequences, such as wholesale displacement to an outer realm. Or he may have erred and utterly destroyed our race. It sounded kind of like Elmer Foot. Corpus hunk. He doesn't usually talk like that. Um, in the vanilla game, he act, his uh, dialogue doesn't play. So that's added in by a mod. I might have to go back upstairs to where Devaith is. I should also get a really crappy levitation spell just so I can do that on command. Or on demand. Is this regarding Altmer? Uh, I'm moving pretty fast. I don't even have the Brutes of Blighting speed on. to see the corpusarium a bit. I gotta train my security some more. This is unexpected, Greetings. but not unwelcome. Please go ahead. Do you have levitate? No, of course not. What about you? Yep. Oh no, I'm poor. Damn it. Okay, what, what's my chance to cast levitate? 30%. So good to see. That's not good. I have expensive stuff to sell, but I uh, can't really sell it yet. Oh, this has gone to hell in a handbasket. Quite sure what to do now, actually. Okay. 
Actually, you know what? I know there's some really good loot. Way up in the Ashlands. I could just go up there. I wanted to get the Daedric Crescent before going up there, but I guess we'll just have to make do for now. Normally you go to Kogo Ruin after uh, the Urshiliku give you the quest to do that. Got some unfriendly Ashlanders over here. Try for a sneak attack. Uh, I don't think that was a sneak attack. Got him. I think the fastest way around here is just to swim. I think I have a potion of swift swim. Here we go. It would be good if I paired that with my boots. slow. What I really need is water walking. Go away, mud crabs. Slaughterfish. Oh, I can't fight right now. Oh, hey, maybe they'll raise my heavy armor a little bit. Oh, please don't tell me I'm stuck. Okay, I think I'm safe now. Stupid combat music is still playing. Even though there's nothing around. Okay. So we got a few things here. Oh, I, I could go into Iberdad. Really good artifact in Iberdad. It's a shield, so I don't really use shields. It'll be very useful for me. Although maybe it'll raise my armor rating. Because I think I think that's how shields work in this game. They'll raise your armor rating even if you don't have them uh, blocking. She 
is tough. But not tough enough. And Daedra. Ah! Oh, take it easy there, man. Uh, not fast enough, okay. I take my curious off. I think I'm screwed. I can't heal fast enough. That is not good. Alright, time to activate the lightning shield. Okay, silence. to kill him. God, my long blade sucks. Okay, let's try this again. Good. Uh, back to the amulet of far silence. Just leaving, don't worry about me. Here, have this. Embrace your demise. See, she's a high elf, so. Naturally, she doesn't have good spell resistance. It's part of the struggle. Clean key. So basically, these notes just talk about how, you know, they're, they're digging into the place and they think that there's an artifact, which there is. Security up. What enemies? I could use the key, but I want to yeah, want to increase my skills. Still enemies nearby. be some Dramora in here. I haven't fought any Dramora yet. It might pose a problem. Uh oh, here they come. And now I'm drowning, cool. Alright, attempt number two. I vaguely remember four years ago, I, th I think I was a lower level when, when I was doing this. So it's definitely doable. Oh, 
So there's a potion of water breathing in the other room. Okay, levitation might help. So now they can't hit me. Doesn't help a lot. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, so Flynn. Pajama. That might be good. <laughs> I can't cast spells now. That's that, that's probably okay. attacks on them. I do have summons. Really crappy summons. Swift swim. Quality swift swim. Very good. It's not enough. I'm still gonna get killed. Ah, oh, fucking stuck. No. Great. Just. Great. Try that. Lord's mail as well. Just stack as much crap as I can. Maybe I can paralyze the golden saint. Well, that hit the Dramora and he tried to reflect it on me. Cheap way to win, but winning is winning, right? Oh. 
help, maybe. Of course he's not gonna help. Still one Dramora left though. Is this golden saint carrying? Drag shield? Ooh, glass dagger. Nice loot. So that drag shield too, I guess. Absorption. And we'll stack that with Chris Amir. And Lord's Mail. Did I just successfully reflect into it? It's unusual. I'm running out of fatigue now. Damn it. hitting me so much. Why are you able to hit me every time I have Sanctuary? Bastard Jamora. Okay. This might help a little bit. Not much, though. sword because I'm just not landing enough hits feel that happy about it. I'm just more relieved than anything. Actually getting kind of tired. I'd like to go to bed pretty soon. Can I pick it? Oh goody. Well now I'll be able to afford more training. Torches. Okay, here there is. Another chest. Oh, come on, I'm using up my lockpick here. Grief. 
Okay. Just a little bit of gold. 10.8, that's an oddly specific weight. Daedric Face of Inspiration. It's pretty heavy, but I want to keep it. Daedric Battle Axe, Daedric Shield. This is what we came for. Still just barely able to carry all this. Curious to see what's in here. I still want to go to Koga Rune. here for Koga Rune. Well, yeah, I can do that off camera. That's fine. Um, but until then, uh, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> so, I will see you next time.